Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin says he will not be running for president this year, but with an election in 2024, that doesn't mean it still couldn't happen. 8 News reporter Olivia Jayquith is live in Richmond after speaking with our political analyst. And Olivia, what does he make of the donations being made to the governor's political action campaign? Yeah, well, Eric, actually less than two weeks ago, that pack received a $1 million donation, and it came from the same donor who has publicly shied away from other political presidential hopefuls, rather, especially on the Republican side, including former President Donald Trump and Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, raising questions about what this all means for Governor Youngkin. Are you going to be dusting off that fleece jacket and getting out on the presidential campaign trail later this year? No. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be. You're I'm not gonna, running. I'm gonna Definitely be working. Running. I'm gonna be working in Virginia this year. This week, Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin sharing what may be the first one-word answer to a question that's been swirling around since at least 2021. Sitting down with the Wall Street Journal's editor at large in California yesterday, Youngkin says he's focused on the Commonwealth's elections in the General Assembly. I haven't written a book, and I'm not in Iowa. And I'm spending time representing Virginians this year. But as Eight News political analyst Rich Marr points out, the governor has taken other steps to suggest he's keeping his options open for a possible presidential run in 2024. The obvious stuff is the, the international trips. That's something that you do. The traveling to campaign for other folks, which he did during the midterms last year. The governor now making his way back from a recent trip to Taiwan, something he was questioned about before he left in April. My sole purpose is to represent Virginia and to make sure that these investments that are being made in America by these trusted partners can come to Virginia. There's certainly some indication or some, let's say, leaving, again, leaving the door open or laying the groundwork for a kind of foreign policy resume for a presidential candidate that might also be helpful for Virginia businesses. He wants to be a leader of Virginia's Republicans and the responsible governmental authority that he is but he also, I think, wants to leave this door open in case things change in the national picture and he decides to enter the presidential race. Now, as recently as this week, Governor Youngkin even confirmed that he is focused on holding the Republican-controlled House and flipping the Democratic-controlled Senate here in Virginia's General Assembly in the upcoming midterm elections later this year. But even that, Marr says, could play well for a possible presidential run in 2024. For now, live in Richmond, Olivia Jaquith, 8 News.